Hello, 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 my name is Chad, and welcome to the first tutorial in what should end up being a nice introduction to the StarCraft II map editor. In the first chapter of these tutorials, I'll cover the basics, and by the end of the chapter you should be able to create a nice melee map. The first chapter is split up into seven tutorials and has an example right at the end. Tutorial 1, getting started. Tutorial 2, creating a map. Tutorial 3, controls. Tutorial 4, the terrain. Tutorial 5, units and doodads. Tutorial 6, start locations and mineral patches. And Tutorial 7, will have good practices. The example will be of how to create a four-player melee map, although the principles should be the same for any type of melee map you should wish to create. So without any further ado, let's get started. What would you expect to see when you first open the map editor? Well, the answer is this. This. You'll end up being on this nice little nice little screen, the terrain editor, they call this. You can see there are different types of editors here, terrain, triggers, data, text, and import. These are your various different editors. You'll be straight away placed onto a pre-prepared map of absolutely nothing. You're going to want to create a new map before you move on to anything, but that's covered in tutorial too. So I'm just going to go over what you are expecting to see right in front of you, what each of the things means, and I'll adjust a few little preferences for you, things that you may not think matter now, but I can assure you will make your life a whole lot easier later. You also have down this side a mini-map, and more options. I'm just going to call it more options for the time being. These options are modified based on which of these you select. For example, Terrain. This is the Terrain Editor and will allow you to modify your terrain based entirely on what you decide to on which brush you plan to use, whatnot, etc. This is all covered in um, Tutorial 4, however. Then we've got Units. where you can place units of various types onto the board. Doodads. I'd like to think of doodads as something along the lines of decorating a Christmas tree. In bones. Not necessarily, but whatever you feel like. It's the decorations. Those are of course covered in Tutorial 5, the units and the doodads. And points. Points are, well, very, very good. And definitely covered, but not covered in this chapter at all. They're a little more advanced. So this is the StarCraft 2 map editor. Over here, you've got the test document function. And over here, you've got the overview manager. We will not be cover worrying about those things too much. So, time for some preferences. Under tools, under brush, allow cliff merging. I'll explain why in the terrain tutorial. In the meantime, just allow it. It is infinitely useful. Cliffs just don't communicate well without it. Next we're going to go into file preferences. We have several preferences. Most of these will be personal preferences for you. If, like me, for example, you have multiple StarCraft accounts, I have an Oceanic and an Americas account, choose whichever one you wish to publish your maps to. I'm going to choose Oceanic for the time being, but whatever makes you feel comfortable. You can change your camera controls, 
You can modify the colours of everything on your map if you do so desire, specifically the guides, hyperlinks, etc. For example, this little blue line around here, you can change the colour of that if you desire. There's generally no real point in doing that unless you really can't see the line. So I wouldn't worry about that for the time being. Document settings, should you want to automatically save the document, automatically back up the document while saving, or whatnot. Fonts. Honestly, I don't see a point in changing the font. If it's legible, it's probably worth leaving it the way it is. In general, you can see the options here. Sound, you can see the options there. You can see more options here. If you've got a tablet device, this is where you would modify your settings for that particular object. This is something I would worry about, however. Game speed by default in the map editor is selected on normal. I would change that to faster because otherwise every time you test your video it's going to be on normal, it takes too long to play, and you're just going to end up wasting more time than you have to. Activate faster and you're set. Also, I'd recommend running the game in a window. You don't have to. That's just the way I like to work. And finally, video settings. This is, by default, set to your settings in the actual StarCraft game itself. Unless you wish to change that, I would just leave it the way it is. And that's that. That's really all there is to it. I might actually do a tutorial 8 in this first chapter as well. I'll call it testing. It will occur after the first example. In the meantime, I hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.